Good morning, welcome back to the show. We've got some very cool things happening this morning, bringing awareness and raising money for the J9 Foundation uh, through a very cool collaboration with Adidas and a couple of very cool rugby players. We are auctioning off Jan Sadfontein, JP Peterson, and Sia Colisi's boots. And right now, as it stands, with the hashtag Expresso Bid and the hashtag Show Your Stripes, Sia's boots are running at 6,000 Rand. That's what someone out there is willing to pay for them. And Jan Sadfontein's boots, 2,100 Rand. So get your bids in and let's see whether you can take those home at the end of the show today. But right now, now, we're getting our rock and roll boogie on. We've got the Rat Rod Cats here in our studio. They'll be performing as one of the headline acts at this week's uh, Dusty Rebels and Bombshells Rockabilly Festival. Here they are with the Rat Rod Boogie. Well, I got a little dancer, so he's it in do. Get you hopping and bobbing like a kangaroo. You shake it to the left and you shake it to the right. Rat Rod Boogie makes you feel all right. Yeah, the Rat Rod Boogie. It's a Rat Rod Boogie. Yeah, the Rat Rod Boogie. It's a Rat Rod Boogie. Let your head down, sugar. Shake it. Listen to the right, right, boogie tonight. Now put your hands high, I'm in the air. And wave them round like you just don't care. Shake it to the left and you shake it to the right. Rat rod boogie makes you feel alright. Yeah, the rat rod boogie. It's a rat rod boogie. Yeah, the rat rod boogie. It's a rat rod boogie. Let your head down, sugar. Shake it loose and do the rat rod boogie tonight. Well, I got me a girl named Cindy Lou. Got him as Molly and a Pinky Sue. We all go down to the social hall. Baby starts playing, we're gonna have a ball. But the rat rod boogie. It's a rat rod boogie. So everybody loving it, getting their boogie on. And that's what you're going to be doing this weekend, right? 8th of November, Ostrich Farm. Absolutely. So you were telling me just early on, for those of, uh, of, uh, of our viewers that are just tuning in now, what can they expect from this Rockabilly Festival? Good old 50s-styled rock and roll music. Yeah. Uh, there's going to be roller girls, there's going to be tattoos, there's going to be classic cars, old hot rods. It's going to be a dirt track. It's going to be cool vendors and stuff. It's going to be great. Candy floss? I'm sure there is. <laughs> <laughs> what about some of the acts performing there alongside? You guys are one of the headliners. Uh, yeah, we got Martin Rocker in the Six Shop down from Joburg, which is a, a very big deal. Yeah. We got guys like them, Tornadoes, um, some, some very big acts. Fantastic, fantastic. So how did you guys get into this whole thing? And actually, I mean, because I mean, there's so many other genres of music to go into right now, and you chose to just take it way back. It's, it's something that's always just resonated with us, and uh, we, we always liked our, our modern rock, but we thought we'd just go back to the roots and see where it goes and it turns out we're doing all right. And how's the support for music like this right now? It's, it's really growing locally. I mean, a couple of years ago, there was no such festival and now all of a sudden we have a rockabilly festival, so it's obviously going somewhere. Fantastic stuff. Well, guys, thank you very much for the great music. Really appreciate it. And Thanks of course, so. remember to check them out. 8th of November this weekend at the Ostrich Farm. It's called the Dusty Rebels and Bombshells Rockabilly Festival. Now, Leanne, I ain't seen you get your boogie on, so how about you get it on for me? Come on. <laughs> 